channel. My name is Hunter and I do ASMR. So it's been about two weeks since I have um, recorded a video. I've been, just been trying to pump out all the content that I've kind of compiled but I haven't released over the um, past month or so. Um, but finally new upload, or a more um, recent upload at least. Um, for this video I'd like to start a new um, mini-series kind of on the channel. Um, uh, as some of you may know, in one of my last videos I asked um, for you guys to leave your collections down below and um, I plan on reviewing uh, all of them um, in due time, of course. Um, so that's what I'm going to be, that's what I'm going to be doing for today's video. Um, they're not really in any order. I'm just going to do a dedicated video to each one of your collections. Um, this, um, this video is going to be um, on Enrique Gonzalez's collection. Um, I'm not too sure if I'm pronouncing that right. I hope I am. Anyways, I have um, what he commented right here beside me. Um, not a big collection. He said he's not a massive collector. Um, and it's more of like a starter's thing, but he does have some really solid stuff here. So he's got Sauvage, what a toilet, which is just a beast, and then uh, Dior Home uh, Intense by Dior, which are like um, the two heavy hitters um, from Dior. He also has uh, YSL Loam, which I have um, over on my shelf, um, along with Loam Mall Team, which are um, Loam Mall Team's like a summer, a, a spring summer fragrance, and Loam is kind of like an everyday beater. Um, really good from the line. You cannot go wrong with any of those guys. One that did throw me off here, and I'm not sure if this is a typo or not, but he said he had um, YSLY Eau de Toilette. Um, and most of the time you'd see the Eau de Parfum because it performs better. Um, and I like I prefer the smell, but to each his own. Um, he also has the Le Parfum um, of YSLY, which came out uh, a month or two ago, I believe. And I haven't smelled yet, but I have heard some decent things about it, so that kind of uh, recovers the Eau de Toilette that he has there. Um, and then he has uh, Versace Signature, or Versace Pour Home, which I have back there as well. Fantastic office, everyday Peter scent. Um, he also has Dolce & Gabbana, the one Eau de Parfum, which is date in the bottle. If you saw my review, you know all about it. It's just fantastic. Um, I also have that over on my shelf. And then he has um, Spice Bomb. Uh, I believe it's Spice Bomb Extreme. I could be mistaken. I didn't um, write down which one it was. Um, if it's Spice Bomb Extreme, Beastly Winter Scent. If it's the regular Spice Bomb, um, then more of like a, a toned down version that you can wear almost any time. Um, and that is all. Uh, he did mention that he gave away or re-gifted, um, or not re-gifted, but gifted, um, brought alone, which is a soap office scent and Versace Dillon Blue. Um, so I didn't include those in this list because they're not a part of his current collection or anything. But other than that, he has a super solid um, collection here. Uh, you like got all your bases covered pretty much. Um, I would suggest going for something um, a little bit more um, sweet. Uh, you have Sauvage. You have your uh, all your four YSLs. You have your Versace, which um, are all kind of uh, warm weather based. Um, you have your the one um, to our home and spice bomb, which are all um, you know kind of cooler weather scents. Um, but Dolce Gabbana being like a, a date scent, um, so you've got really spice bomb and your home and with the cooler weather. I'd suggest. Sorry. Um, oh jeez. Um, I would suggest something like. Um, Oh, it's right over there. What is it called? Jean Paul Gaultier Ultra Male. Um, sweet for the winter. Uh, that'd be fantastic to slot into here. And then I'd also recommend um, something like Versace Eros um, for the club. Or just for partying. Um, and then uh, that would basically fill all the holes that I see in here. Um, something that I do really like about this collection is that you kind of are running with the single line. You have your four YSL. Um, fragrances, and I think that's a really good way to build a collection. Just go for one house and build off of it. Um, same with Dior, um, but Dior's are, are a little more expensive, so I don't blame you for only having like the two big dogs um, from that brand. Bread and Spice Bomb is just a classic. Um, so 